The thermolytic decomposition of calcium carbonate is yet another common example of decomposition reaction. To perform this experiment, you will need the following. Calcium carbonate powder, lime water, two test tubes, a retort stand with finger clamp, Bunsen burner or spirit lamp, spatula, and one whole rubber cork fitted with a delivery tube bent at right angles in two places. To perform this experiment, take a spatula full of calcium carbonate and introduce it into one of the test tubes. Arrange the materials to form an apparatus as shown here. Lime water is taken in the second test tube and the free end of the delivery tube is introduced well inside the lime water as shown. Note that the lime water is clear and colorless to begin with. Begin heating the calcium carbonate using the spirit lamp or Bunsen burner. Observe carefully. Within a minute or so of heating the calcium carbonate, you will notice a gas bubbling out through the delivery tube dipped inside the lime water. As you continue heating the carbonate, the lime water in the second tube slowly turns cloudy or milky as an insoluble white precipitate begins forming in the lime water. The thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate follows the chemical equation shown here. Calcium carbonate decomposes and forms its breakdown products calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. The identity of carbon dioxide is confirmed by passing the gas through lime water, which is chemically known as calcium hydroxide solution. Carbon dioxide reacts with calcium hydroxide solution to form an insoluble precipitate of calcium carbonate. This white precipitate gets suspended in the clear lime water and makes it cloudy or milky as is commonly referred to. The reaction of carbon dioxide with calcium hydroxide is as shown here. The white residue left behind in the first test tube is no longer calcium carbonate but rather calcium oxide. 